Mary Mead and welcome. Welcome to the realms of mysticism, the occult, and magic, where your possibilities are only limited by your imagination. Welcome to the Witch's Cauldron and discover the knowledge you seek. Gather round the cauldron and even stay for a spell. Brightest blessings to you. Merry meet and welcome to the Witch's Cauldron. My name's Paula. Today I want to do a video on the solar eclipse of the new with the new moon in Sagittarius that's going to occur in the US on Monday, December the 14th. There is a lot going on this time of year. Um, we had the lunar eclipse at the end of November. Uh, we had the blue moon on Samhain. So the end of this, this year, 2020, has been just chock-a-block with all kinds of astrologically significant events. And the new moon eclipse in Sagittarius uh, is just one of them. And then also the, the grand conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn. I will link that video down below and put it a card up here so you can just click on the card. So I want to go over the new moon in Sagittarius and the eclipse that is going to occur. Again, in the U.S., it's going to occur on Monday, the 14th of December, 2020. And it will occur at 11.17 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That would be 8.17 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So you, you will need to look uh, up based on your location, how much you will be able to see of the eclipse and at what time it will occur in your time zone. Uh, where I am, uh, Eastern Standard Time is four hours behind Greenwich Mean Time. If that helps you out at all figuring out, you know, if you're in the UK or Europe, okay? So let's talk about the energies that are going to be at play. On Monday, December 14th, there will be a new moon total solar eclipse in Sagittarius. So this is, again, like another portal, okay? And this whole year has been, uh, has had like all these kind of like astrological portals throughout it and that's why 2020 has been just so chaotic and um a lot of us have had to almost feel like feeling left in the dark we've felt like this energy of uncertainty and you're hoping that we're going through all of this chaos and stuff um so that it will lead us to a higher purpose or bring about a, a good for mankind in some fashion. This new moon is going to start our ability to kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel, okay? Sagittarius is the zodiac's optimistic sign, okay? And there is a whole lot of fire energy involved in this eclipse. Now remember, Sagittarius is the fire element's mutable sign. In other words, its energies bring about shift and change, okay? Leo is the fixed sign, okay? It's Leos are, you know, stead, steadfast and true, man, you know, we are what we are. And then Aries is the cardinal sign of the fire element. In other words, cardinal means the beginning, Aries comes at the beginning of spring, okay? 
So that mutable fire sign, the changing energies, we all are shifting toward looking for hope um, and faith. A lot of people are re-embracing their faith, their sp spirituality to help them cope with everything that has gone on in 2020 with the pandemic, with general unrest, with, you know, the, the cluster that was the elections in the United States and still, you know, un, quote unquote, undecided and uncertified. So this is a time it's like we look back and we're like, God, we have gone through much, through so much crap that things have got to be better. We have had to go through this for some reason. And we're starting to try and find the silver lining. My mother used to always say, through everything that you go through, there is a lesson and a blessing to be found. You just have to open your eyes and heart to find them, right? So everything that we have had to go through in 2020, so many people lost their jobs. They've been, you know, had their finances completely ruined. Um, there's been so much chaos with the pandemic and having to stay away from your family and just throwing the way of life that we knew into disarray, okay? Now, the one thing you need to remember is that the moon and the sun conjunct the south node, okay? So this means that this eclipse can also bring endings, losses, and goodbyes. And they may not, they may be really hard and just um, rock you to the core of your being. And instead of trying to push those emotions down, this is a time for you to honor your feelings and the feelings of others. Um, even if they're not positive feelings, embrace them. I mean, through the endings, you have a grieving process, whether, you know, it's the ending of a job, it's the ending of a relationship, you know, you've lost someone um, who has passed on those endings. Everything involves a sense of grieving, okay? Embrace that process, go through it and work it, okay? Now, Eclipse will be conjunct with Mercury, okay? And remember, Mercury is the messenger. It's about communication and speaking your truth, okay? This conjunction also means that you need to remember that your words have power, okay? So to bring about your wishes and your hopes, you need to speak your truth your ideas into existence, okay? Try to find words in your dealings with others that will uplift and inspire, okay? But don't do that to sacrifice your own honesty, integrity, and your authenticity, okay? You may have to have difficult conversations with someone, like I said, with endings, but Try to do it in a way that isn't vicious. Um, do it in a way, if you were being spoken to, how would you like to receive that ending message? All right. So the eclipse will be square Neptune in Pisces. And this reminds you that there is a difference between positive thinking and wishful thinking. All right. Don't be all talk because false promises to yourself and to others cause a lot of harm. So don't try and kid yourself about something that is going on. You can be positive about changes coming in your life or be positive about the future without blowing smoke up your butt, all right? I, I can't stand that. <laughs> when people try to blow smoke up my butt to make something, you know, when they're being disingenuous, giving me a bad message, okay? The Sagittarius moon, sun, Mercury, 
and the South Node are all trine Mars in Aries. So we have got the willpower and the intestinal fortitude to back up, you know, our positive thinking and put those intentions you know, forward with action. This is going to give you that oomph, that get up and go to be able to put something into play to bring about those positive thoughts, but not to blow smoke up your butt, okay? With a bunch of wishful thinking and not having to do any work to bring that about or to manifest this change. One of the key things, because there is so much fiery energy with Mars being in, in Aries, your uh, moon is in Sagittarius, it's hard to channel that much fire element and fire energy. And if you've ever dealt with a Leo, hello, you might, you might know that, okay? Um, but it's your ability to channel that energy with a purpose of learning and growth and not just being indulgent in your own appetites, okay? It's not self, self-serving. self It's more like enriching, self-enriching. Um, there is a difference between the two. Sometimes... Because Jupiter is its ruler. Sagittarius can overdo it. Okay. But Jupiter has been in Capricorn. Okay. In transit in Capricorn for a year. And Capricorn is that restrained, um, abiding by the rules, restrictive kind of energy. And it teaches you to do more with less, okay? Jupiter is sextile with Venus and the asteroid Juno on the day of the, the eclipse. And this brings opportunities to share the wealth, okay? Um, you might focus on less on what you want and more on what you are willing to give. And I'm not necessarily thinking you know, like monetarily, but what are you willing to give of yourself? Either in service to others, you may decide to go and volunteer somewhere, to reach out to a friend that hasn't been feeling well, you know, reach out to someone that you haven't talked to in a long time to just check in and see how they're doing and see if there's something that, you know, you can do to help them through a difficult time. Um, now, Chiron will be in Aries and it will be going direct. It, it is direct on December 15th. And with that energy brings a sense of healing. Your ability to heal being one of the very um, powerful influences that are in play right now. Venus will be moving into Sagittarius on the same day. So you also want to give yourself and those around you room to learn and grow. Don't be so quick to judge. This um, may be someone, someone's process of learning. Try to be a little bit more understanding about things that may be occurring around now because energies are just flying everywhere, all right? And this eclipse is just the beginning of this kind of major shift. And you have to remember that Saturn and Jupiter leave Capricorn for Aquarius, okay? And the grand conjunction on the winter solstice or Midsummer, the summer solstice for those of you in the southern hemisphere, kicks off a new 20 year cycle. Okay, when they are, that energy is going to be in play.
So again, the overall energies for this eclipse, this new moon eclipse in Sagittarius is just, um, you know, another in this eclipse season. It's another point of shifting energies and significant astrological changes and a shift and a big shift in your focus. Okay. With that, my friends, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up, thumbs up and share the video. If you like the content on this channel, please consider becoming a member. Uh, there are two levels. Uh, I will link the video in the description box all about the memberships. And uh, be on the lookout for a video on how this new moon eclipse will affect each one of the zodiac signs. Okay. With that, my friends, Mary, we did meet. Mary, we will part until we marry meet again. Be well and walk in love and light, everybody. Bye.